Good evening. A father is tonight behind bars, accused of murdering his fiancée, whose body was found by the couple's two young sons. Neighbours say the Hackham West family seemed happy and there were no signs of what was about to unfold. Jackie O'Hyde lived for her family, but police allege she was killed by the very man she trusted most, her fiancé, Toby Awateri. The 27-year-old's body was found yesterday morning in a car at the couple's Hackham West home. The harrowing discovery made by her two young sons, aged just four and two. They sounded the car horn for help, the noise alerting a nearby neighbour who found the little boys on their mother's lap. I had no idea that it was kids reaching out trying to attract attention because their mum was in the car, passed away. The same neighbour had called police four hours earlier after hearing a possible argument and screams. Well, I just heard a scream, a terrorising scream. But never thinking for a minute, the horrifying sounds were coming from her happy, friendly neighbours. They were a loving family. They. There was never any noise. The couple had started their own catering business, but our Terry travelled regularly to Melbourne for work. Police allege he fled the house after his partner's death. They spent the day searching for him before he handed himself in at about 10 last night. And while the manhunt for Toby Awateri dragged out almost 14 hours, his court appearance was over in less than two minutes. He didn't apply for bail and was told his next appearance will be in late May. The couple's children are now in the care of relatives. Alice Monfries, Nine News.